A sad update to a story we followed for you last night here on News for Jacks at 11. Family tells us a 71-year-old man hit by a car in Jacksonville's Marietta neighborhood has died of his injuries. We learned tonight Alan Colburn was hit by the car not far from his home. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker spoke with friends who have known Colburn for years. Ken Joy, just imagine what this family is going through at this time. I did walk through the neighborhood, met quite a few of Colburn's friends. They described him as the man with the smile and the one who always had a joke. This is the block that 71-year-old Alan Colburn has lived on for nearly four decades. And Wednesday evening, this is the same block where Colburn was seriously injured after he was hit by a car. I spent Thursday afternoon walking along Cahoon Road, hoping to find someone who knew the retiree. Though many didn't want to speak on camera, it seemed as if everyone knew him. From neighbors, to the owner of this Ace Hardware store, to the workers at this Speedway. All pointing me in the direction of a man Colburn has known for more than a decade. He was sitting in front of this store. He was sitting in his Indian cell like this, right? <laughs> He always said, well, how you doing, young man? And I pulled a conversation with him. Even if I'm busy at my shop, I will, you know, take time out and I will talk to him. Ronnie Jackson described Colburn as a special guy who loved his late wife and his family. And he'd always see the 71-year-old walking his granddaughter to school. He would be on the bike and she could be walking right behind him. But I used to be afraid of him, you know, crossing the street with her. He says over the years, the traffic on the road has increased. And that's why he made it a point to express those concerns with his friend. A friend that was always walking on the busy road to the grocery store or to church. I'm very hurt about that. I found you. But you couldn't have found a better person than him. He's a very kind, sweet person. And I'm trying not to get emotional right now. And I'm going to stop by his family house and find out if there's anything I can do for him right now. And this unfortunate tragedy is still under investigation, but it does not look like the driver will be facing any charges in this matter. We're now reporting live from Chess Camera Channel 4, the local station.